day 16 of doing makeup looks for the face and you don't gotta dress up but if you want to that's up to you anyways let's start off with oh today's makeup look is gonna be the mayor from nightmare before christmas anyways let's start up the elf putty primer i'm gonna go in with if you have stuff at home use the stuff that you have at home and if you're new to the makeup community just try out what fits for you obviously it might work it might not but it is okay because everybody's skin is different. And then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream with one pump. Because I realized when I started making these videos, I was doing two. Which I didn't really need to, but it's okay. And you just got to make sure you blend it all the way in. Close your eye if you need to to get your eye. A little hack if you are new to the makeup community and you're buying supplies make sure whatever you're buying is the same thing like the same base so like some is silicone and some is water and they do not mix well if you like use them for different things like if your foundation is a certain different base than water then it won't blend in with your makeup i wish someone told me this when i was younger and a beginner <laughs> my makeup looks so patchy and it would not stick anyways i'm gonna go in with the elf camo concealer and since the cc cream did cover a lot no <laughs> sorry i'm wearing my new jessica tour pants and it just fell on there it's okay i'm just gonna put two dots or at least one dot in each one and then i'm just gonna blend it in So what are you guys planning to be for Halloween? Because obviously, I know what I'm going to be with my boyfriend because he's going to come visit. And for the pumpkin patch, I think that's what we're going to dress up as. Even though I kind of want to dress up a little bit different, but it's okay. As long as it's the pumpkin patch and the dress won't be flying everywhere, that's all that matters. I think it would be a cute little look for us since he's not going to be here for Halloween. So, it's fine. I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty setting powder, but I use it as contour. Crazy, huh? But it's the only thing that I have as contour and that fits my shade because I never let a boyfriend or an ex-boyfriend of yours choose your makeup. Because at the time he was my boyfriend and he's like, yeah, it's your shade. It's not your shade. So trust your girlfriends. Trust the ladies at Sephora. I have trust issues, so obviously that that's the reason why. But it's fine. Now I know not to get the shade unless I need it. The contour shade. And I'm only doing half of my face with this. Obviously the nose, I don't really need to, but it's fine. Ooh, you could barely see it on the camera, but you could so see it in person. I just don't want to add too much. It's okay. And then for the other half of the face, you're going to go in with the blue shade from Scooby-Doo Glam Light Palette. A little tip is that just make sure you don't grab too much product because once you do, there's also another hack for that. But I rather just start off with a bit of product and if there's a lot, you just move it around the face at this point. Like so. Sorry, I'm going to keep tapping my screen. Hopefully blending it up also works. But if you put too much, you could always go in with your beauty or the beauty blender and just fade it out. See like right there, it picked up some of the makeup, so it's fine. It's fine. You just use the beauty blender to take some off. Then for the nose, I'm going to go in with this brush right here. And then I just... Like so. I'm trying to make it the other side. Like so. 
going in with the same brush we're going to do the look for here so obviously it's like a little circle and i'm just going to do my eye i'll go in i'm just going to do a little roundabout i did not think that was going to work but it did And you fill it in. I think it worked. Okay, much better. I'm gonna go in with some of the dark blue right here. We're just going to shade it out. I don't want to go put too much in. Just because I don't want it to be too much. I just need that little subtle difference that there's two colors in there. And then for the other side, it is yellow. So we're going to go in. Where did the brush go? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> we're going to go same palette with the yellow. We're going to do circle. Another circle. I'm just going to follow my natural line for my eye, like so. Am I tripping or did this already have some? No, I'm tripping. Like so. And then you're going to fill it in. Sorry, I have my reference photo on my iPad and it it just keeps turning off. It's okay. And we're filling it in all the way. I don't know why. It's making the yellow look weird, maybe, because of my dark under eye. More. Like so. <laughs> like that. And then we are going to put some blush. So for blush, I'm going to go in with the Rick and Morty Glam Light Palette. I'm going with this little peach shade right here. Just make sure you don't put too much. Like so. And then for highlight, I'm going to go in with the Mike Wazowski Revolution highlighter. I'm just going to put it in the corner. Brow bone. On both of the cheeks. Just a little bit, not too much. Oh, there was a bird on my window. And then the nose. The little tip. I think that's it for highlight. And then for my brows, I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty Mascara. Obviously, you could go in with different things. You can make them fuller, however you would like. But I like them more natural. Obviously, I got some inspo from a lot of makeup artists, but I just didn't want to cover my brows. Because I feel like that's more hard work where you have to do gluing them down, covering them. You know what? It's all to everybody's own, but to each their own, basically. But I like it more natural. Curling my lashes. And I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty Mascara. Obviously, it's a little dried up, but it's fine. Like I said on my last video, I forgot to get a new one when I was at the store. Rare Beauty never disappoints, and I wish there was a Sephora up here. Literally.
but the other best mascara that I would say is my second second best favorite is the L'Oreal Telescopic. That's what I used to use before Rare Beauty came out with their own mascara. You can find that at any drugstore. So like Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens. Pretty sure you can find it everywhere. But that is my second favorite mascara. My first is Rare Beauty, as you can tell. Even though it's dried up, I'm still going to be using it. Or at least it's almost too drying up. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go in with my lips. So for my lips, I'm going to go back in with the Scooby-Doo palette. And half of it is going to be blue. So I'm going to use my finger for this one. And I'm just going to pat it on there. Like so. I'm going back in with the Rick and Morty palette. I'm going to also do that to the other side. So the peach shade. I use for blush. And if you do have lipsticks and all that, I suggest you to use it. You don't got to do what I'm doing. It's just a little hack if you don't have something. Like so. And then I'm going to move on to the eyeliner part. So we're going to grab that eyeliner. Very scary part because I kind of don't want to do this part, but it's fine. So we're going to do the nose on this side. It's going down. Sorry, I have to look at my reference photo a lot for this one. Oh, and you're going to go down and angle it down. So I'm going to fill it in. Like so. It's okay if you mess up, you could always add more or less doesn't matter and that is not half the nose like that like so and just make sure you point it out this is the most focused I've been None of these videos. <gasps> it fell. Anyways, and then for the other side of the nose, we're going to do a little... Sweep. Like so. Like so, and then for the lips, I can't really talk on this part, just because it has to be very precise. It's okay if you mess up, it's fine. Like so. I kind of want to put a line in the middle, but I kind of don't because you could see it, right? <laughs> Anyways, and then we're going to do another line above that one. Scary, right? It's fine.
like so. And this one's gonna be, oh, that tickled me. Mm. So we're gonna put a little bit high up. So it makes like a little smile. Like that. Okay, I might do the wrong. Oh, that does look much better. I want to do the little details. Sorry. That's cute. And then we're going to do the circle for this one. like so oh that's cute and then do the line for the bottom oh that's not cute it's fine <laughs> no it's not okay <laughs> i keep saying it's fine and it's not circles don't have to be perfect It's fine. We're going to correct that eventually. And then this one has a line going bottom also. And then like a little loop. So it starts here and it ends here. So we're going to go for it. Like so. Oh, that's kind of cute. Let me connect it a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Okay, now to fix the little parts I mistaked on. Like, I'm just gonna... Since it's already dry, just take it off. I have to wait until that one dries out. Which I'm pretty sure it did. Yeah, it did. Like so. Ta da! Oh, I see the little mistake. I'm going to do this side again. Yeah. 
You could put a wig or whatever you would like, but this is the final look for the mare. Anyways, thanks for watching and have an amazing day.